Okay, so that was my opponent. And pretty much their main claim, I'm not sure if you guys were hearing it, but is testing on humans. Tell me not, that seems way out of proportion, like that's too exaggerated. We are simply saying that we should invest the money that is being used on animal testing, which is billions of dollars, compared to what would we what we would waste on stem cells and other technology like human lab-grown cells to help us. We wouldn't be testing on humans. And in fact, there's actual um, at the John Hopson, Hopkins Cancer Center, they've already been doing this. They've been do, advancing with technology and not using animals. Uh, most recently, in August 2016, researchers at the, uh, the Johns uh, Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center described their cell model of the medulla blastoma. Medulla blastoma is a common brain tumor, well, the most primary brain tumor. And instead of using mouse cells, this model was built from stem cells. And the results it generated are more accurate reflections of patients' response responses to the drugs than those from its near counterpart, so from those of the mouse cell brain. Um, and instead of using the animals, which don't are not in, as efficient as uh, humans, they are actually just making us more susceptible to disease. 85 or, or of the HIV or AIDS vaccines have been successful in non-human primates, as a study shows in 2010 from the National Cancer Institute. Yet all of these have no work or have failed to, to, um, in testing HIV vaccines for humans. So in monkeys they work, and in human, humans they don't. So tell me how that helps, it doesn't. Um, and another thing, so they say how it affects rats and mice, and how in our houses we try to get rid of them. They're seen as pests. I see this as a slippery slope. Right now it's rats and mice and rabbits, yeah, and they're bred, but tomorrow it's our pets like horses, which are very dear to most people, or I would say, would you be willing to give your dog up for um, animal testing? And most of you guys would say no. There's a study, or the AWA, which should be regulating stuff, as my opponents said, um, actually failed to enforce, well, enforce their laws, but as my, um, my partner said, they are, we are human, so we are prone to not listen to um, the laws or break the laws. So Santa Cruz, the biotechnology um, here in the, well, in our area, has violated the U.S. Animal Welfare Act with goats. So tell me now, we are actually, it's very controversial how we are running out of supply of meats, like beefs and stuff, so they're saying not to like consume that. And yet, the Santa Cruz, facility um, was using 5,000 goats and rabbits, and they went missing. So they were keeping 841 of these goats in a hidden facility, and the rest of them, they will not testify whether they were killed or sold. And this resulted in the biggest um, lawsuit for this violation, which was 3.5 million. That's enough to already get us somewhere with technology. So my Still, my take on this is that we should ban it and use the money that we're using on animal testing to further advance our technology, such as the stem cells with the brain model. That's already almost curing cancer for brains in humans. So there we are getting somewhere, and animal testing is not the thing that is getting us there. It's actual um, procedures with stem cells, which are less expensive, more efficient, and don't harm or unethically harm animals. Thank you.